Well, welcome everyone to the Grassroots Warrior Network. Today I am so honored to have Fraser and Lena Beecroft with me, and they have a fabulous new harmonic egg that they are going to talk about. And as we enter the new world, we're eliminating the pharmaceuticals, and we are going to be going into the frequency healing. And Fraser and Lena have such a wonderful device that's made for all of us. And I'd like to introduce Fraser right now. Fraser, you want to tell us a little bit about your journey and how you came upon this harmonic egg? And yeah, sure. Um, it's like anything, these things find you. It's like, you know, if something is meant to be, doesn't matter what you do, it's going to find you. Um, I believe I found out about the harmonic egg about three or four years ago. Um, I was looking at something else, you know, like, like many of us nowadays, we wanted, what well, Lena and I wanted, like some sort of healing centre, and it's been a dream for 10 years. And about three or four years ago, it's like we were looking into things, it's like, okay, so if we were going to do it, what would we do? And I think at the time I looked at the hyperbaric chambers, you know, the oxygen chat tanks, and um, with, you know, the re-evaluation and all the wonderful things that we know are coming, I was like, okay, well, when we've got money, we're going to do that. And I put it in a spreadsheet and then there must have been an advert for the harmonic egg. And I was like, okay, that's interesting. And I watched a bit of information. It's like, okay, so we're going to have a hyperbaric chamber and we're going to have an egg. And I put it to one side. And then maybe 12 months ago, this harmonic egg just kept popping up. And it didn't matter where I was, it was popping up everywhere. And I'm like, okay, spirit or somebody's trying to tell me something. So I looked into it a bit more and it's like, okay, so we'll do we'll do this, you know, really soon. And when we've got some money, we'll have a harmonic egg. And then I turned around to Lena one day and I just said, you know what? Let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can get this harmonic egg and do create our dream without the revaluation, without the ways of doing things. Um, and we we worked out a way. And you know that that was that was about 12 months ago. And we were trying to find some premises in the UK. Um, and then about six months ago we just made a, a comment, we had a chat with somebody and we ended up in the sun. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. But I mean it's been, it's really been a journey because to get the egg to where we are now has been challenging, to say the least, as, as you well know. But uh, it's here now when we're absolutely delighted and we can't wait to get, you know, more people finding out about it and get them in here, whether in person or remotely. I think that's about it. <laughs> Beautiful. And what is your background in Lena's? I know she was in the medical profession. Yeah, yeah. We, we've, we've both been uh, in the medical profession profession in, in one shape or form um i was working in the uh like our government like nhs so like the, the medical system but in it but i've had a background in healing for like many many years so i used to do um shows where i used to do tarot numerology and healing as well um, in fact you know that's one of the ways that lena and i met so and and we've so we've both had healing anyway uh, we've both had the medical side, and this is just almost like a natural step from from like you know being working for somebody to working for ourselves. And also the fact that you realized that the medical professions, as they exist now, are not really designed to help people. No, and they never were. And and this is the thing. It's like you know we were we were seeing things from the inside and then like, you know, question, we always question things, but questioning things more and more as we were seeing things over the last few years. And it was just getting to a stage where we didn't want any part of it. And, you know, this was one way out, not an easy decision, but again, the right decision. I believe you have made the right decision. I mean, this is, it's such a beauty and I'm looking at it in the background behind <laughs> you and it just, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of uh, the little egg of spaceships that we would see in the movies. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And now, and now they've come to fruition where we have access to them. So tell us about this harmonic egg. What 
can it actually do to help people and how does it work? Okay, so this is uh, the Ellipse Harmonic Egg. So it's a sound and light technology. Um, it's in the shape of an egg. Uh, it uses sacred geometry, so the 369 principles um, to, you know, the way it was created. Um, the, the, the light you absorb through your body and there's, there's music as well, which, you know, when you sit in a chair, um, your body absorbs the music. But basically, um, it's about, you know, your body becomes out of balance, um, creates conditions called diseases. And, you know, your body's out of control. This can help bring your body back into harmony, bring your body back into balance so that, it, you know, it can help. It recovers from whatever's affecting it. Um, you know, the machine doesn't know disease by name, but by resetting any imbalances, it actually helps you, like, normalise. So, for example, when we do a session with anybody, the first session is always called uh, an autonomic nervous system reset. And that resets your body to a state above where we see the diseases. So, you know, like you almost like, um, what's the word? Like, you know, you're going above the disease um, and that becomes like the new norm. And that, that sessions are always very gentle. Um, and then after that, we can, depending on somebody's condition or what we're looking at helping with, because we can't say treat, we can't say cure, but we can help somebody with their conditions. Um, we can work on more, you know, multiple levels at that point. And the, the beauty of this is that um, it not only deals with, say, like what, what, what we're trying to help with, the music has been specifically created for multiple uses. So one track may actually help with 20 conditions or it may help with like one condition. Um, we can deal, for example, with things from like abundance, stress and anger, um, diabetes, you know, whatever. And, and we work either in person or remotely. And that, that's a very condensed version of what we do. And how does it uh, affect one with the sound and the light uh, and the music? Um, what is it directed towards your cellular structure or yeah yeah it, it works at, at a cellular level so we're, we're not just you know like we're not just shining light we're not just you know like playing music and and the music's been created specifically for um you know different conditions so um they're, they're created from a, a, a place of love they're based on the frequency what the frequency goes to the cellular the light goes to a cellular level and that's what makes this so different. The, you know, like if you go to say like a sound bath, the music dissipates. When you're in our lips harmonic egg, it actually, there's nowhere for it to escape. It's a 360 degree experience where you're, you're sat in a chair or laying down in a chair. And when the doors close, you know, you, you, your whole body's experiencing the sound and the light at the same time. The music's got nowhere to go. Whatever you're looking at has got nowhere to go in a sense. I mean, you know, we can keep the doors open. So if somebody's claustrophobic, we can keep the doors open. It's, it's not a problem. Although, interestingly enough, um, it's actually bigger than a car inside. So like a small car. Um, we had a lady last week who said she's claustrophobic and she's anxious and she was quite concerned. And so what we did is we sat her in the chair. She didn't want to lie down when she was she again is fine. And we closed one door and we said, How how are you how are you feeling? She says, I'm okay. I said, okay, so let's close another door and see how you're feeling. And she said, No, no, I'm okay. And so we opened the doors again and we have um a little bell, so like a, a push button bell like you would have for the door. In, the, in a side pocket. So if anybody has any panics, any issues, they can just push the bell and we'll come and get them or they can push the doors open. And she said, she sat for the whole session and she said she had one minor like panic attack, but she said she just breathed through it. And she said, other than that, she was absolutely fine. Now this is somebody who's allegedly claustrophobic. So it's really interesting, the dynamics of, of what it's able to do.
That is phenomenal. That is really nice. And I like the fact that it's, it, like you said, the size of a car, the inside of yeah. a car. Yeah. So how long are your sessions? And what what do you need to do in preparation for one of your sessions? Okay, so the sessions are 50 minutes long. So it's 40 minutes of music and 10 minutes of silence. Now, people say, well, why is the 10 minutes of silence? That's to ensure that you, your body um, integrates what's just happened over the last 40 minutes of the music. Um, and it also can, can continue that integration for three to five days, or even seven, up to seven days to actually process what's, actually, you know, what's happened. Um, some people, um, you know, everybody experiences different things when they're in the egg, okay? So what we say is the egg will give you what you need, not necessarily what you want. So there's things that may come up. Uh, when you actually, you know, once you've had a session or even during the session that you have to deal with. And that's, you know, that's really good. Some people are very tired after the session. Some people are very full of energy. Um, some people laugh, some people cry. It doesn't matter. Whatever happens isn't meant to happen. Um, we have one gentleman who has had a couple of sessions and he's, not somebody that you would think was anything wrong with him. It's a very, you know, it's always seems to be full of joy, but actually inside he's been full of stress and anxiety. And he turned around and actually, again, a surprise to us, said that he's had lots of different um, treatments from different things, from like you know, I don't know, Tesla machine to Reiki to whatever. And he's had two sessions in here, and he said he's finally dealing, or he's finally having to deal with emotions that he's held for like 20 years in, in his in his body and it's like and he said nothing else compares to it now these are his words these are not my words you know he said even like the ayahuasca ceremonies that they have out here he said doesn't compare anything to like this so this is our like ayahuasca machine or you know machine without the ayahuasca in a sense um people don't really need to do anything specific to have a session if they come in here, we we sit down with them. We we find out any like medical history or you know anything they want to work on. We always set an intention. So you know what do you want to work on today? So it might be well I want to be more creative or I want to help sleep. Again, we have somebody that's that's um, very very active person who finds it trouble sleeping, and he's had several sessions, and he says now at eleven o'clock at night he's actually falling asleep you know so it can be anything we can help with um spiritual journey you know thymus stress anger addictions whatever so that's the sort of thing that we find out and we set the intention with the help of the egg that today this is what we're going to work on okay so that's as much as preparation you know people people shouldn't be like eating lots and drinking lots before they come in. But it's it, it really is about, you know, if you were going to meditation or you're going to relax, what would you do? It's the same sort of thing. Um, if somebody is to have a remote session, um, they just need to be in a quiet space for that amount of time. We have either a, 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 a call or, a, you know, email or messages saying what their intention is and, you know, afterwards, we, we give them a call or a text back. I always do like a little video. So there's a little video of like, you know, we're putting you in the egg and this is the music and this is what it does. And then afterwards, when they come out, there's another video as well. So does that, does that answer your question? <laughs> I, it does. It's uh, really, I'm, I'm fascinated. I can't wait to try it. I can't wait to see who's coming. <laughs> I, I can't wait to see you again. Hopefully next year I can be there in person and really have a true experience yeah. of being within the egg. Uh, my so, question is, you had mentioned something about you set intentions, but always, that the intentions don't always, um, sometimes other things present themselves other than the intention. Can you yeah, elaborate on that a little? The, the intention is always, you know, like for the highest good, we set the intention, like, you know, to release stress, release anger, to be more abundant, whatever. But, and then we say a specific, you know, with attention to 
a particular thing like you know i want to sleep better or you know so that that is underlying and that will always happen but you may say for example i want to i want to like stop the earache i've got but actually it it actually stops your throat from you know like oh you've had a sore throat and a sore ear but you want your ear to be sore and it it helps with your throat you know so it's 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 nothing bad it, it's more a case of um actually that's what you need today you know because whatever else we need to deal with can be done at a later stage you know this is this is not necessarily a one-off um time session you know it's more a case of it's a maintenance program we have protocols that we work with so um some of the some of the protocols um are 10 sessions so for example we can help deal with triad childhood trauma we can help deal with like heavy metal detoxes for say like Lyme disease or Epstein-Barr so those are like you know those are multiple sessions so in those multiple sessions so the intention may well be to deal with specifically like say the Lyme disease but actually it helps with your thymus it helps with your third eye it helps with aches and pains in the body so it, it can do lots of different things as I said before the music can can help with multiple things, okay. And it's it's like you just don't know what um, you know what's going to be. <laughs> so, in other words, the egg itself, through the harmony of the music and the light, really goes to the cells that need it. So the ones that are have been damaged. Yeah. Yeah. It will. Yeah. It will go there and heal that, and maybe some of the symptoms we have are really not the cause. So it's really going to the causes. Yeah. Is that a good assessment? Or? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, so it, you know, maybe you may have like an an anger issue, but it's and it and that's that's to do with the liver. So the egg will help cleanse the liver, and you know, and anything else associated with it, um, in order to 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 reduce the anger. You know, I mean. The, the music um, that, that we have, as I said before, that, that it's been created from a place of love, there's lots of different instruments. So, for example, the flute can help with clarity. The piano helps the nervous system. Um, you know, and it, 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 I've just a look now. Drums help with uh, boosting the immune system. So dr drumming, um, as, as you well know, is good for stress and anxiety. The didgeridoo is good for muscles and bones. The Aboriginals used to use the didgeridoo to, to, to heal broken bones and torn muscles. Um, the violin is good for the heart, lungs, thymus. So each piece of music may have multiple instruments in it. So that's what I'm saying. It helps with multiple things at the same time, but you don't know, you know, you don't know what that's going to be in a sense. That is amazing. And the other thing that we've all been through, because we grew up in this 20th century and into the 21st century, where we've been inundated by doctors prescribing medicines that cause other problems. Sure. And our bodies are so toxic at this point, because we have all of these toxins that are attacking our body. So this, by going to the cells, I'm, I'm hope I'm getting the message here is that it actually cleans out the cells and helps to get rid of all those toxins in us at the same time without us even realizing it. Yeah. And depending on, you know, what sort of, um, you know, thing that we're dealing with depends on how many sessions like the heavy metal detox, for example, it's, it's like 10 sessions and then you work from there, you know, and that cleans like the liver and the, you know, the lungs and the thymus and it's, it's a multiple level thing. And you know, you may we may need to do multiple resets in a in a ten um, session a ten uh, step process. You do two or three resets because each time you're in there, you're actually you know helping with another part, or you maybe just dealing with something. Initially, somebody may need three or four autonomic nervous system resets because they've got such a severe chronic condition it, it really does depend but the thing is there's no drugs in here 
there's no Wi-Fi, there's no un unsafe technology. It is purely light and sound that has been created for the highest good. And I presume it uses a lot of the Tesla technology, the 369 vibrations and the to get rid of that 440 that the deep state has put in and plagued us with. It's it, now clearing it to the 432 frequencies. It's all to do with frequency. It's, you know, it's a it's sort of low frequency. So every, every bit of music, um, you know, is, is slightly different. Some some of the music that we have has mantras. Um, I'll give you an example of um, when there was the problems in Hawaii when they had the fire. Um, all the centre owners were asked to put a picture of Hawaii in the egg, and they played a particular bit of music that has been created by um, I think it's called Uncle George, and he's like famous in Hawaii, and he's done some singing. He's got the ukulele. And that has helped with Hawaii, you know, like cleanse that area, clear that area, or like, you know, change the energy of that place. So, it, there's, you know, there's multiple things we can do. It's not just humans. You know, we, we as, as you know, we, we can help animals. We can help land, houses, businesses. It's like, you know, you, you, you ask for something, and, you know, there's a way around it. Viruses. So you mentioned about the lands in Hawaii. Yeah. How how many of these harmonic eggs are in the world right now? I think there's around 130 at the moment. Uh, most of them are in the states. Uh, there's quite a few in Canada. Um, there's I think there's three in the UK. Uh, two in Peru. One in uh, Ecuador. Uh, and obviously, who's here? But uh, there's, I think there's a couple in Europe. It's mainly the States, but, you know, they, 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 they are becoming more popular. So as you put the pictures of Hawaii, I'm just curious, because you said it does heal the land. Yeah. And by yeah. putting the pictures in there, did everyone that has an egg at the same time yeah. use this yeah. for, for that 40 minutes? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was um, th there was a request that went out to, to for all the centre owners to put a picture of Hawaii in um, and play a specific bit of music all about the you know roughly the same time or the same day, um, and you know everybody did. And we, unfortunately, we didn't have the egg at that stage, but you know it was a it was something that was brought up, and it's just like I mean, how fabulous is that? You know, I wish we'd have been involved. <laughs> yeah. Have you heard any testimony from the people in Hawaii that there was a calming or a revitalization of the land? There's a there's a lady in Hawaii that has a center there and she said it's really helped. Um, you know, so she, she you know, she's very grateful. Um, and, you know, she, she's been helping like, the locals there as well. So but she said she has fabulous right, response from, you know, that particular time. And um we you know we've we've had a situation recently where we helped with somebody's house and land and they just said it's so much calmer there's so much um things are less chaotic around the house and the land and things are moving forward now that weren't and i think it's exactly the same for hawaii you know it's like the energy has been changed so whatever they were trying to do we've almost like reversed it, you know, and changed the energy again. So it's like, you know, and, and again, it's, it's you know, we can do it multiple times if we need to. And it's all frequency based, which is God divine. Yes. Yeah, what absolutely. our divine mother and father gave us is the beauty of the world with all the abundance. And uh, yes, we kind of contaminated and corrupted it. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like this is going right back to the source. Yeah. And yeah. creating the healings. Absolutely. I know, as I said before, with the instruments like, you know, the Aboriginals were using like the didgeridoos and the drums many, many centuries ago. And they've been using it for hundreds of thousands of years, whatever. And so this is it's using ancient technology or ancient like knowledge in a futuristic way, in a sense. And it's just, you know, we've just taken old stuff and made it you know, more accessible, you know, newer. And, and obviously with the advances in technology, we're able to integrate multiple things. Um, and, you know, and 
this is one of the ways this was created. This is beautiful. Can I ask you, Fraser, is there any way you can show us how you would do a remote viewing? Can you yeah, sure. it the egg and sure. I'll um we'll try and do this. <laughs> so it's got my to, to do a remote viewing, what do you need to what does a person have to do? Okay. So we need a picture um of the person or the animal or the, the land. So if it's a person, we need the birth name. So not like if they've got married, not anything to change. So the original birth name, the date of birth, and a picture for like that waist up, really. That's about it. Animal, it's the same. Land, we need an address. Um, so if I've got here, just hold that there for a minute. I've got like a cat and I've got a lady. So we would we would go in here. I'll put them both down. Normally, we'd just do one. So, for example, picture of a cat, and we'd speak to the owner or we'd message the owner and say, you know, what is it that we're have, trying to help with? So the cat might be, like, ill or it's going into surgery or it's had surgery, for example. So, you know, we'll, we'll say, okay, so the intention is to help them um, heal faster after the surgery. And we do exactly the same with people. So, you know, again, there's a picture uh, of a of a person. It's not a person, but, you know. <laughs> um, so you would have the name and the date of birth on there, and the intention may well be, okay, I want to be more clear or whatever, and do the session that way. And what I usually do is once the picture's in there, I take a picture of it in the egg. Um, I do the intention over the phone, and then I do a little uh, video when they put the music on so they can hear the music, uh, them in the egg and, you know, close up the doors and everything. And then we, we, we phone them back afterwards or text them and say, right, your session's over. Here's the pictures. Um, and, you know, again, the response has been quite wonderful. <laughs> I do have one question. Now you said you put just one picture in at a time. What if a family wanted some healing for the whole family? Can they do that? Yeah, or I just... guess. I mean, it's, it's like one at a time. That's that's the general way of doing it. Um, we have had um, a picture of an animal on land, which which we did. So that and that's quite interesting. So I think initially it's, it's better off one to one because everybody's got different um, situations. You know, like one person might be like anxious. One person might be okay. I want to do. I want to be more creative. One person might be. Um, I want to. You know, I want to connect with spirit. Whatever. So. Each person may have different things, so it's better one one person in the egg at a particular time. Yeah, I can see where that might create a conflict if you have yeah. two different uh, energies and emotions working against one another. Yeah, yeah. Would you like me to put uh, my assistant in? Yes, could you please put Lena in there <laughs> for us? <laughs> Or she can put me in there, maybe. I don't know. Or she can put you in there, whichever. Yeah, in but there. that'll yeah. give a good idea as to how roomy it is in there and yeah. how comfortable yeah. it actually, is. Actually, what, what I can do is I can I can actually um let me just just I don't close it on then. So let, if I just sit down in here, um I don't know, you can there's a light above me. That's like one side of it, and that's another side of it. So if I put my arm out, I can't even touch. You know, I'm probably about another, I don't know, meter away from from the from the side. Oh my gosh! There. So if this this thing is eleven foot wide, um, it's about eight foot high, and it's about seven foot uh, wide. So it's it's as I say, it's quite you know, quite big. So you um, there and Trump in there. Yeah. <laughs> so actually, Lena's just she's just shutting the door now. So that's the door cutting, closing. And so. Hello, Lena. <laughs> <laughs> so she's just shutting the door. So, you know, even though we're in here, you, you, you know, I, I could just easily push that door open, you know, without without any issues. So that's what say people don't like it. I'll close it now. Um, so, you know, while we're in here, it's 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 it's, you know, it's really. It's really big. Yes. So 
but as I say, it's not it's not something that you should really feel claustrophobic about. So it's just opening doors again and I'll come out. Now you said you could also lie down in it. How would you lie down in it? You can. There's um what happens is um the seats the seat reclines. So oh, she's gonna recline me now. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right, yes. Yeah. So so I did, you wanna just take that out. Oh, well, wow. oh you look so tiny in there. <laughs> Yeah, so this is, you know, like if I just, um, yeah, so like now, you can you can actually see I'm like lying down. Wow, nice, very nice. So have you, you, know, it's, have you it's, had it's, anybody fall asleep during a session? Quite a lot, actually. I did. <laughs> I did last week, which uh, is not is not usual for me. So I'll come out again. So what we'll do is we'll just we'll just close these doors and I'll show you know I'll show you this what this is like um, with the doors closed from the from the outside. So that now you see? Can you move out of? Yeah, I'm just doing so people can see the whole egg so itself. That, yeah, so that's that's the whole. That's the whole thing now with the door, doors closed. It, it reminds me of um, all of the little shuttles that you would see on Star Wars. Yeah, so that's it open again. So, Wow, that's pretty amazing. It reminds me of the little shuttles that you would see in Star Wars. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, the egg shape, and but that's so roomy. I... I didn't envision it being that roomy. That is, that's very comforting, especially to those, like you said, that have anxiety attacks, panic mm -hmm. attacks, and are claustrophobic. Well, you know, like people have had great results from even just sitting outside, you know, like, yes, it's better to sit inside, but it's not essential. I mean, if you think about the remote sessions, it's all about energy anyway. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world. The, the energy still still gets to you, still so you know um absorbed by you. So um, you know it's all quantum entanglement, quantum um it's all quantum. All quantum. And that's where we're all going is with the quantum energy and quantum mm -hmm. frequencies. And like I said, they're all divine, which is yeah. what we were designed to be absorbing, not all of these other contaminated influences that we've accepted so well, I'm, that's one of the beautiful things about this you know i mean it it does reset everything i mean we've we've had a lot of benefit we, you know we had sessions before we even invested in this you know it's like okay just this thing really work is this thing really what we think it is now what's been nice for us since we've actually had the egg here is the response is people are giving us, you know, like um, the testimonials, um, even like, we, we, you know, um, somebody that had one session and he had like neck pain and back pain. And he said while he was in the egg, he, something snapped and his, and his, all the pain went away. Now, again, you explain that to me. Well, again, I know why, but it's just like, that's amazing. We even had somebody say something similar from a remote session, and this person had um, sinus issues, and then there's apparently something just popped, and they've got no no more sinus issues. I mean, you know, and this person was in another country, so you know, we know it works not just from testimonies we've seen, but what people are telling us. Everybody comes out feeling like really relaxed and really like you know good and. Um, you know, we, we, we're even treating like medical people at the moment, you know, just and, and they're like skeptical, but they're like, this is amazing. And those are your best testimonials here from the yeah. medical field that have been indoctrinated so long and only treating symptoms and saying, oh, this disease is not curable and things yeah. like that. And when they can say it's helped me, my gosh, what a testimonial that is. You know, I mean, we can't, let's say we can't say that we can cure, we can't say that we can heal, 
we know that we can reduce symptoms. We know that we can um, help with what's going on. So like, you know, somebody that's been injured, we can help them heal quicker. We've had, not in our center, but in other centers, we have a friend who was having chemotherapy and she had sessions after each chemotherapy session and she only needed three or four sessions and, you know, she's, she's tons better. Um, and she's really benefited from it. You know, people that, well, everybody's got trauma. It doesn't matter how old you are, there's trauma there somewhere. Um, so, you know, this helps to release the trauma. Um, it's fabulous for pregnant ladies. Um, people, so? Because it's like a connection, you know, that they're, they're, there's a connection between the baby and the mother. Um, so the baby, we you know, we 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 reduce the the set the, the sounds so that the baby can also like you know absorb the music. So the baby can have like go through the whole term having the music and bonding with the mother. Um, we heard an amazing story recently where um, a, a mother that had just had the baby was unable to breastfeed, it, or she was having trouble breastfeeding with the baby. And so she took herself and the baby into the egg and they had a session together. And while she was in the egg, the baby, baby started suckling. Oh my so gosh. this baby is now breastfeeding when the lady couldn't breastfeed. It, it, you know, it's it's just amazing. And just from that one session, it's like it's it's changed everything for them. So their relationship is a lot stronger. It's the forces within you and the forces within that egg to bring the force within you out. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, absolutely. This, is, this is so fabulous. Where are you located, Fraser? I know you're in Mexico. We're in Playa del Carmen. Um, so just five minutes, from, well, about 10 minutes from the center, very near Fifth Avenue, um, close to the beaches and uh, near Playa Car. So. Yeah. So if anybody wanted to go for a nice vacation on the beach, which is a beautiful place to go, Playa del Carmen, how would yeah. they get there? Um, we're in a place called uh, Plaza Antigua. So it's on uh, Cali Diaz Sur, which is literally the next street along from Fifth, Fifth Avenue, La Quinta, where everybody is. We are maybe five minutes walk from where the ferry goes to Cozumel. Um, it's very easy to find. There's a big Plaza A on the, on the outside of the building. <laughs> And we're on the, I think they call it the second floor, even though I would say the first floor. <laughs> Depending which country you're in, how you yeah. relate yeah. to mezzanine first, second. <laughs> and many of them eliminated the 13th floor, but I always liked the 13th floor myself. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I said to somebody that we were on the first floor and she came and she's like, I can't find you. And she was on what I would class as the ground floor. But she said, well, that's the second floor. I was like, okay. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Um, but so we, they, you know, would, they would fly hmm? into Cancun. They fly into Cancun and you can get um, an ADO bus, which is the local uh, bus service. It's about 240 paces at the moment. Uh, and it takes about 40 minutes to get there. Um, well, 40 minutes to an hour depends on the traffic. It's more like an hour at the moment. Um and then, you know, we are from, from the bus station, we're probably like a 10 minute walk. And you're real close to the beach so people can enjoy the healing of the salt water as yeah, well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, we, we, we're right next to a big mall, uh, which leads on to Fifth Avenue and the beaches and the uh, Cosmo Ferry. So perfect place to do some healing and vacation and leisure time all in one and yeah. wrap it up. And how, how can people schedule an appointment with you, either remotely or in person? Uh, where would they find you? Okay, so our website is um, apapachar.earth, which is A-P-A-C-H-A-R, um, and then dot earth. Um, we have an Instagram account, which is apapacha underscore earth. Um, and then there's a cell phone on there, which is 52 for Mexico. Nine eight four two three five double zero nine seven. Okay, I will for all of the viewers that are interested. I will put all that information in the description below. 
Um, if they are to make an appointment with you in a session with you, mm -hmm. and they can do it either in person, yeah, or remotely, yeah, uh, and then you would contact them and let them know what they would need to do if they're going to be doing it remotely. What to send? Yeah. So we, they... we send, yeah, we send them um, a, a link to like a, an article which talks about this is what you need to do for a remote session. Um, either way, we all after they've had a session. Um, as long as we've got like, you know, contact details, we send them a link that says this is what you need to do afterwards. I mean, what the main thing about what happens after this is obviously there's lots of integration, but it's about people making sure that they look after themselves, make sure that they drink lots of water, make sure that they don't go and have a heavy meal the same evening that they've had that they've had a session and just being gentle with themselves, you, you know, and and like uh, the article actually explains, you know, the things that could happen and like, any any sort of treatment. So, but we're getting very good results. Sounds wonderful. I'm very anxious to try it. The you know you say about uh, making sure you hydrate and drink yeah. plenty of water. Well, that's after any type of healing, like you go for a massage sure. or acupuncture. Uh, that's one of the recommendations to flush the toxins out that they've. Uh, cleared you with and it's yeah, i mean we we have uh, electrolytes for sale uh, on site you know which um is is you know very useful for not only like keeping you hydrated but it also like the the the, the electrolytes cling to like any toxins and help to flush out you know them out of your body so you know we we always recommend people you know have electrolytes after the sessions um, okay and uh apachar Apapacha means how did you yeah. how did you come up with that name? Um, I believe it was Lena. <laughs> she was looking uh, somewhere. I think she was on Facebook, and somebody asked the question, "What's your favourite Spanish word?" And somebody put apapacha. Now, apapacha is a, a nielto nielto word, which so it's Mexican, like you know, ain't the, the the Inca type. Uh, the ancients and it means to hug with the soul so we're all about healing and health and just you know sending out our love to people and helping them so to hug with the soul was a very very appropriate name and, and everybody that we talk to when we say that business is called apapacha they're just like oh and they, you know that they, they just think it's wonderful and you know it's such uh an appropriate name for here at this time because this is and the everybody actually gives us a hug you know it's like <laughs> it's just wonderful well i love the name and i love the fact that it is soul connecting with source and that's how we're moving in the future here it's all going to be moving with source to the beauty that's awaiting us Fraser, yeah. thank you so very much. And Lena, thank you for taking pictures of Fraser in the egg. And uh, I'm so happy that you have this harmonic egg. I think it's going to benefit so many people in so many ways. Yeah. Well, and as yeah, I, I mean, said, I'm looking forward. I will book a session and I, I'm really looking forward yeah. to feeling the effects afterwards. Brilliant. Yeah. Now, we're, we're, you know, as I say, we're, that's what we're here for. We're here to help. And uh, we can't wait to help them, you know, help you and whoever else wants needs helping. Well, that's the whole reason you got into this. Uh, when Absolutely. I was talking with you just before we got on, you were saying that, you know, Lena and I want to help people. We want to help them progress. Mm -hmm. and we want to do the healing. So this is one aspect. I mean, there are many healing modalities out there, but this one seems to incorporate all of the frequencies that we need and i really like the fact that you said it goes right to the cellular level and cleans you out the inside out and it's very gentle as well you know it's not like some of the some of the therapists out there um you know people like oh it's a machine and this is just like yeah it's it's a pod it's not a machine it's a pod and it's just like going to sleep for an hour and meditating you know it's, it's like you said before people fall asleep yeah they do some people just stay awake. The first time I went in, I was I was very curious and I kept my eyes open and wanted to know what, how everything worked. But now 
now I'm more relaxed. And you've, what uh, benefits have you felt from it? What did, if you don't mind sharing some of your results? Um, I've had different results every single time. Uh, last week, I fell asleep in the egg, which I've never done before, which was re I obviously really needed it. But uh, I, I'll go with like an extreme case is I actually um, asked for my creativity to be expanded or to change. And I saw myself in a past life as a young Indian boy drawing. And I saw the whole the whole journey between me being a boy to me being married to an Indian dancer. And it's like, so, you know, that that was just truly amazing. That's something that, you know, where on earth did that come from? Um, I just feel full of, full of energy. That's the biggest thing, you know, I feel a lot calmer. And with all the things that we've had to, um, you know, like, go through to get to get to this stage it's just releasing a lot of the stress you know i'm not saying it's you know it's gone away completely but it's you know I'm, we're a lot calmer we're a lot more focused uh clarity is a lot better you know and uh we can go in there you know uh, well they suggest a minimum of three to five days sorry five to seven days before you have another session um so you know yeah, well, could we would we like to be in there every day? Absolutely, but your body can't take it. You know, one of the things that people have to understand is, you know, you 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 your body has to assimilate, it has to take on board what healing modality you're doing. So, for example, if somebody's had like a physiotherapy session or a massage the day before or whatever, we wouldn't recommend them coming in the next day because they need the body or the body needs time for them to integrate what they've had and then integrate this you know as a as an addition um so you know it's it's that's important as well that people we take that into consideration and that's something that we you know we ask people or we check with them is you know what when have you had something recently and some things are not so bad but you know it's like a you've got to you've got to make sure that you're not overwhelmed or your body's not overwhelmed with that or i've had Rake it today, and I've had a massage the next day, and then reflex the day after that, and then I want to do it. It's like can't, can't, you know, your body just doesn't know which way to go. So this is another reason why we, you know, we, we're very, um, you know, we try and find out as much information as we can, so in order to help the person, in order to progress, and like, give them the right advice. And we don't force like you have to have ten sessions on a person. That's an individual choice. We can only recommend. But, you know, it's like have a session, try it out, see how you feel. And then we'll take it from there. Beautiful. And I like that, that you're putting all these precautions in and letting people know ahead of time that your body cannot take all that at one time. Because while it's working and healing one area, all you're going to do is counteract it by yeah. doing too much. Just like with exercise, you know, they always recommend one day on, take a day off, let your body adjust to that particular exercise before you go on to something else. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I thank you so very much. I hope our listeners um, got a lot of information that might help them. And please, if you feel that this is something that you're interested in, do not hesitate to contact Fraser. And uh, just thank you so very much. Appreciate it. Anything you'd like to say? No, no, thank, thank you for uh, thank you for letting me come on the show and, uh, you know, telling people because we're so excited about this and it's like we want everybody to know we want to help everybody if we can. You know, we know we can't, but it's like it's here. It's available to, you know, as another modality that people can tap into to help them heal. E you know, even creativity, even divine connections, it's not just about you've got to be poorly. You don't have to be. It helps with so many other things. And that's the big, you know, that's that to us is very important. So thank you very much, Michelle. And, uh, you know, can't wait to see you again. Thank yeah. you very much. Looking forward to it. And I think, like you said, it's all heart based that as long as your heart is open to it, you can receive all of those frequencies for your better health. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you all for watching. Thank you, Fraser, for explaining this and showing us this beautiful baby. 
And uh, I love your egg. <laughs> I can't wait to see it in person. Thank you all. Thank you.